Today we are unboxing one of my new favorite things. I know I have a favorite thing like every other week, but this one I worked so hard to find and to get and to add to my collection. So buckle up, let's go. Hi lovies, welcome back to my channel. My name is Fumi Ford. I'm a wife, I'm a mom, I'm a content creator. Born in Lagos, Nigeria, Niger, babe, but living in the good old Birmingham, Alabama. My channel is all things fashion, beauty, entrepreneurship, and luxury, travel, and whatever I like to talk about. And I know that you guys love is what we talk about on this channel. If that sounds like something you'd be interested in, Think about hitting that subscribe button. I would love to have you as part of my YouTube family. I am not going to go into like a long spiel. Let's get to the unboxing of my new bag and then we'll come back and we'll talk about the specification, what fits inside of it and some more details. So let's go. What are your thoughts? Comment below and let me know. This is the Speedy Bandolier 25 in nylon. Yes, it is not leather. It's not coated canvas. It is nylon and it's a recycled nylon. So I love that it was all part of sustainability because the nylon is recycled. It's in the color navy. Let's talk about the first thing that caught my eye when I saw this bag. So my essay texted me one day out of the blue and he said, Fumi, I have a bag. You're going to love it. Come by and look at it. I didn't see that text message until the next day. And I just so happened to be going to Louis to look at a pair of sunglasses. And he was like, oh, are you here to look at the bag? And I said, what bag? He said, I text you. So I said, what bag? what bag tell me what bag so he pulled it out and he showed it to me and i was like oh. the thing is i had been asking him for this bag for a year i had wanted the pillowy louvetons when they came out i think what last year they sold out it was very hard to get your hands on them and so i told him i said daryl if you ever find this bag go ahead and save it for me i want it and so one of the first people he texts was me but again I didn't see the text message till the next day. So when he pulled it out in this gorgeous navy color, I was like, bag her up, bag her up, she's mine. And he was like, feel me, somebody already put it on hold for 24 hours. And I said, what? What do you mean? He was like, well, when you didn't answer, I sent it to another lady who was asking. So it's already been put on hold. So I said, okay, call her, text her right now. Ask her if she's going to buy it. So he texted her. She didn't reply back. And he was like, we have to leave it for 24 hours. If she texts back, I'll tell you, you can come back or tomorrow her hold is up and you can come get it. Well, I went out to eat. And while I was eating, Alabama lost the football game. As soon as the other team made that touchdown, he texted me. He was like, the bag is gone. And I said, God, Alabama lost and my bag is gone. <laughs> I cannot go on. Um, <laughs> so I came home and I told my husband, I was kind of a little bit upset about it. And I was like, why didn't he save it for me? I have been loyal. I have been faithful to buying things from him. I mean, I was so melodramatic. So I, I, I said, okay, fine, whatever. What was it? Like a week passed and he texted me again and he said, we, no, no, no. He didn't even text me. I happened to go by Saks to get another pair of sunglasses like a week later. And I just popped by Louie because I was looking for my other essay who actually works inside of the Louie. And he wasn't there, but there was another woman there. And she said, oh, did you ever get the nylon um, Speedy that you wanted? And I said, no. She said, well, let me check online really quick. Mind you, when we checked online last week, it was sold out. That one was the only one he could find and somebody had bought it. She checked and guess what? They had one more. 
I said, go ahead and ring her up. Ring her up right now. So <laughs> she rung her up. Thank God it was the same color that I wanted, that navy color. Same color, same everything. She rung her up, and of course, like a week later, the bag came to Louis Vuitton, and I went and picked it up. I am absolutely in love. So let's take a closer look and talk about the details of this bag just a little bit more. I'm going to read the specs to you because my... I can't remember things. Uh, if you're new here, I have two kids, mommy brain. So it is a padded recycled nylon like we talked about. It's navy blue. It's 54% echolin and 46% PU coating. It has echolin trim with a monogram coated canvas and an echolin lining with the monogram coated canvas. There's a silver finish and it's sustainable stainless steel hardware again with the sustainability that's what really sold me about this bag the nylon is recycled and even the hardware is sustainable stainless steel it has removable but not adjustable straps so let's take a closer look at it now that we've talked about the dimensions hey cutie pie this is her y'all the blue it's like a silverish blue color. Yeah, this is the exact color of the bag. I love the puffiness of it. I love that it, you have the motif, the LV motif. You have the LV embossed into the nylon on the bottom as well. And then all around. I also love that the straps, the top handle straps are that brown logo um, color that Louis Vuitton is just known for. The stitch work, again, is just immaculate. So this is the coated canvas that they were talking about. And of course, this is a recycled nylon. Look at that. Oh my Lord. Like this bag is just so, so adorable. Um, one thing that I do wish is that it came in a smaller size. You know that I love mini bags. This is more so like a small, it's a medium, small medium. And it's just a little bit bigger for me, but I don't mind. These are the sides. Again, it's nylon. Look at the stitching. Look at the, oh, just the details. It's the details for me. The handles as well. The zippers have the LV in the hardware. And of course, you have gold hardware all around. So you can either have silver hardware or gold hardware. Mine comes with silver. You have the hardware if you want to put other straps with it. But the bag does come with straps. The straps just are not adjustable like they said. So these are the straps that go with the bag. Look at this. Look at that. Oh my gosh. I'm going to bring it a little bit closer. You have the darker LV logo that goes all down the strap. And then you flip it and you have the lighter logo that goes all the way across. Now, these straps are not adjustable. If you are a bit taller, I will say, go ahead and get another set of straps because these are short. Like, this, this is a pretty short strap. So the strap is 18.1 drop. It's not that long. I'm going to put a video to the side of me trying it on in the store as a crossbody. You are going to need longer straps if you are a bit taller. I'm short and it comes to my waist. It's still a little too short for me. So what I'm going to do is either find um, strap adjusters that I can hook on and then hook to the bag or just get other Louis Vuitton straps that kind of match that navy blue. You could do silver straps. You could do metal, uh, like metal silver straps, stainless steel straps, or um, woven straps with a little bit of navy blue and silver in it. Oh, that sounds that sounds really good. I need to find those straps. So let's look at the inside of the bag. The inside is so beautiful. It has the LV symbol from the side all the way across to the other side. Look at that. It's just, it looks like a bed in there. Uh, like an LV cover that you're just going to put over your shoulders as you sleep. It's just literally, look at this. Wow. I love the inside of this bag. This is probably my first LV bag where the logo is actually inside of the bag. You do have this section right here for your goods that um, zips. 
for your wallet, your debit card, um, your card holder, and then of course, just the regular pillow. It's a sheet, it's a LV cover. So this is the bag. Again, if I had to give this bag a just off looks, 10 out of 10. Just off like looks, um, the, how different it is from the other Louis Vuitton items that I have. It's a 10 out of 10 because it's so unique. Now let's talk about what fits inside of this bag. Now when it comes to functionality, this bag is super functional. You can fit quite a bit in here. So a full size paddle brush fits perfectly in the bag. My Sephora blush palette comfortably in the bag. My iPhone 13, comfortably in the bag. Lip gloss, comfortably in the bag. And I could fit, just look at the inside. I still have room to fit so much more in here. I still, look at all that space that I have to still fit items inside of here. So I, I feel like I could fit a pair of like really small slippers. I mean, I wear size six, so Probably a pair of really small, like my Hermes or Ron sandals. No, they might be too long. But if you, maybe not slippers. Let's just stop there. Maybe not slippers. But you could fit a lot of items inside of here. The length is 9 by 8. Height is 7 by 5. And the width is 5.9 inches. So it does have a lot of length and width and height for you to be able to put a lot of items inside of here. Again, the crossbody straps, if you're going to travel with it, get longer straps because the straps are not that long. But functionality wise as well, 10 out of 10. This bag might not be everybody's cup of tea. It's so unique. It's so different. It retails for around $2,220. That's without tax and shipping. Um, it might not be everybody's cup of tea, but if you want a really unique bag that's functional, that you can have in your collection, that's a little bit different from what Louis Vuitton usually does, this bag is it. The nylon, again, is sustainable. And I love anything that has any aspect of sustainability in it. It's recycled nylon. And I just love that Louis Vuitton is, you know, moving towards the way of sustainability a little bit more year by year. So just one more little look-see of the bag. Okay, so let me know. Do we love or do we hate this bag? Is it like, for me... I'll stick with my regular coated canvas or my leather or, oh, I might give this a try. This looks very interesting. Comment below. Let me know how you like the bag. Let me know how you like the review. And if you have any other questions, definitely type them down below and I'll go ahead and answer it. I hope that you enjoyed this unboxing. It makes me, like this bag makes me so happy. And that's the thing with luxury or anything, even non-luxury that you buy. How does it make you feel? That's what you have to think about. How did, can you afford it? That's one, because I have to ask myself, can you afford that Birkin? No. <laughs> so that's the first question. But when you look at it, does it bring you joy? Does it add to your happiness? It's not your happiness. Material things aren't our happiness, but does it add to your happiness? Does it make you happy when you pick it up and you wear it? Fashion and style and things are supposed to just bring a touch of glitter into our lives. And this bag has brought so much glitter into my life. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this with me. If you're not following me here on YouTube, please think about hitting that subscribe button. I would love to have you as part of my YouTube family. If you're not following me on all my other socials, it's Fumi Ford on every other platform. <sighs> Y'all! <laughs> I will see you next time. Love you. Mean it. Bye.